Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Magic Day. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to go over to Monsters Incorporated and ride this ride and hope you guys come and join us. Thank you again so much for your support that you give to us. So Faith and I really enjoy Monsters Incorporated. In fact, we just went through and watched both of Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. I don't know if you guys like the movies, if you're into it like we are, but yeah, we were really excited when D23, when they made the announcement that Monsters Land is coming to Hollywood Studios at Disney World. So if you guys are excited about that, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. All right, so who is excited out there for Halloween this year? And what are you going to dress up as if you're going to dress up for Halloween? And what are you going to be doing? Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. So the wait time on this ride is usually right around 30 to 40 minutes on average. Unless you have Lightning Lane, Lightning Lane, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 max. But usually right in. Hey, just another thought as well. Do you guys have a favorite Pixar movie that you love to watch? For me, I love The Incredibles. That's one of my favorites. I have very many uh, Pixar movies that I really enjoy. They, they have so many out there. But yeah, we'd love to hear from you guys if you have a favorite Pixar movie. Hey, one other thing I just want to say, guys, is I just really want you to know how much we appreciate every one of you for taking the time to come along on our adventures and supporting our channel. We really appreciate it, and that means a ton to us. And if you guys have not subscribed to our channel, hey, subscribe, because we have got a lot of fun things planned for this coming year and next year. And then we've got some really cool announcements. Anyway, let's listen in and enjoy Monsters Incorporated. Hello. If you are new to the area, the Monstropolis Chamber of Commerce would like to welcome you. While you're in town, be sure to... We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child! If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in monster history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child here tonight. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. It's true! I saw the whole thing! Like a chicken. My thoughts were not my own. Then it grabbed your right judge. Oh, we gotta get you home. There's a kid A human kid! Oh, there's your 
Katie's gotta go now. Sleep time. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed Monsters Incorporated. We are now going to head over to Disneyland and we are going to ride Snow White. All right, let's head over to Snow White's Enchanted Wish. Before we go on it though, I just wanna say shout out to Travis who let us come over back in June to his house and he created Fantasyland in his basement. If you guys haven't watched that video, highly recommend it he is so amazing at what he does he doesn't have it as snow white's enchanted wish he has it as snow white scary adventures it's amazing though he pays attention to every little detail and it just is mind-blowing so if you haven't watched that video after this video go back and watch that and we'll put it at the thing at the end something i'd like to mention about snow white's enchanted wish is i love what they did with the ride don't get me wrong snow white scary adventures was fun but this just has so much more magic to it and i absolutely adore the final scene where the prince kisses her and wakes her up and all the lights come on gorgeous let's be so real it's gorgeous i mean when they first announced that they were doing this i would joke with people i'd be like oh darn snow white scary adventures builds character in a five-year-old you know it's just something different it just builds character but obviously it's totally fine i am all for making rides better than they were before i really want to see what they're gonna do with pinocchio and mr toad because i know for a fact those after seeing what they did to this they could make those amazing if you guys have been on snow white's enchanted wish tell me what you think How, do you like it do you like the change are you more of the scary adventures kind of person or if you've seen the ride at least in a video form tell me your thoughts on that if you don't care just that's fine too tell me what you like that they <laughs> that you've seen. One thing that I do miss is the golden apple outside of the line that you could touch it and the evil queen as the hag would cackle. That was so much fun to do. It's one of my favorite things, but it is what it is. It's all good. I do love having the storybook throughout the line and the ride. I think that's really cool. And I love that we get to see Snow White's little chamber and we get to see her dresses. And I love that it's playing uh, I'm Wishing from the movie, which is probably one of my favorite Disney songs. Anyways, let's go on Snow White's Enchanted Wish. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so that way you're notified every time we post a video. Anyways, we can't wait to see you guys for our next video. It's going to be awesome. You guys have a magic day.